Um, they're in this little area. So, so, um, I know, they're very cute. So these all came from the same property. The black one fell 20 feet out of a hayloft and luckily landed on some insulation. Um, and those Can I rest this here without Yeah, uh, let, uh, let me put, let me just... Well, actually, no, I'm, let, no, no, let me do this rather than create a, no, I'll do this rather yeah. than create a unnecessary weapon. No, no, that's okay. This is, this part here is safe. <laughs> Um, and so the, the gray ones are her brothers, and the two tabbies are um, blind, and we're just, you know, bumping into things out there and um, doing better now. They, they adapt really well to, be, to being blind. They're pretty cute, though. So I'll go get the other one, and yeah, unless you want me to... Do you want me to hand her to you? I'm just going to stand to one side. Oh, okay, yeah, you can pass. Where can I stand without creating <laughs> too much habit? Um, you can go over there, or you could go in here if you want. No, oh, over here is fine. Where you're going to bring... I mean, yeah, I'm going to take her from... a clean spot if you need a clean spot. You're going to bring her and then put her... Yeah, and I'll, I'll climb in there okay, and put her... I, I can sit down with them here. and... All right. Okay. All right. And then we'll get over here. <laughs> you never think how many logistics <laughs> there are <laughs> with this stuff. Oh, you look like you got some good snuggles today, kittens. We got we got the tabby's mom today. Hope is safe. You will like Amelia. She looks just like you. Hey, Amelia. Yeah. Randy, can you cheat just ever so slightly and look at the camera? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you want to kidding? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Turn it just getting my lights the way I want. Let me sit lower. Now, if I sort of step carefully around there, if I hold the video camera down and you stay there, you can sort of explain. Yeah, the yes. Video. Absolutely. Hi, you're so cute. Welcome to the pile. Oh. You just let me know if you want me to move somewhere. No, I'm sure that I've got my act together before <laughs> I create too much havoc. Yeah, there you go. If you Do you want me to look up when I talk? Yeah, just, just okay. sort of talk about. All right. Okay, let me just. Okay, so whenever you'd like to, I'm rolling, so just talk about what's, what's happening. All right. Um, this is Charity. She just came in today from the property and she has ringworms so we're adding her to our uh, ringworm kittens that we've brought in over the last couple of days also from the property. Um, this is Hope. She and her sister Faith are blind. They also have ringworm and um, you can sort of see uh, they would have been in big trouble if we hadn't brought them in. There's they would have been part of the 75% of feral kittens who don't survive um, because it's just impossible for kittens like these to survive out there if they can't see. This is her sister Faith, also blind, but uh, we're working on it a little bit. Let me just pause for one second. So 
just talk a little bit about her. I'm on close on her. Okay. Uh, this is Faith. Faith uh, is blind because of, uh, of a respiratory infection, and she's getting treatment, and she's starting to feel really good and adapting extremely well to not having her vision. And so she's going to have a great life and get to be adopted into a wonderful home. Um, and if we hadn't brought her in, she would not have survived out there. Um, do you want any more? No, I think that's good. Okay. Just maybe if I could get you to talk a little bit. Hang on, I'm just going to change the angle slightly. And yes. just talk a little bit about the, the sort of the approach you're taking where they're getting neutered. And okay. The ones that can and go back, do go back. Okay. So what we're doing this weekend is uh, called Trap, Neuter, Return. And it's the only humane way to control cat overpopulation. So basically we go out and we trap as many of the feral cats as we can and we bring them here. We do intake exams on them to make sure that we know if any of them have injuries or anything like that. And then tomorrow we will spay and neuter and treat any uh, injuries or infections. And the ones that are sick in recovery time will stay here and get treatment. The ones that are healthy and uh, adult and completely wild and feral will go uh, back to the property and uh, any that we think we can socialize and adopt out will stay here and uh, be treated till they're healthy and then get great loving homes. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> you don't feel so good, it's okay. You're very sneezy. Oh, it's so sneezy. Aren't you? Yeah, I think I looks better today. Um, do you, uh... I'm just getting shots of them being impossibly cute. I know, aren't they adorable? Mm -hmm. I can do a little play. Oh, are you hiding? Oh my gosh. Are you hiding? What's this? What's this? Oh no, did you have, uh oh. Someone's gonna need a little bath. I brought you a new friend. Yeah, I'm just going to double check to make sure that I did what I said it to. <laughs> Wilbur's excited to have a new friend. Excellent. Good? All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Um, do you want anything else? Do you want? I uh, think for now I may come to the, okay. uh, the uh, mountain view tomorrow. tomorrow. That should be good. We actually have um, some specialists coming in from Canada West, and I think five vets volunteered to come, and which is kind of unheard of. So we're pretty excited. That's going to be, I think, pretty cool. We have some eye sur eye removals to do, and some. Mm -hmm. And the sighted ones won't be going up again. The sightless ones won't be going back. Well, um, they do really well with one eyeball. So as long as their one eyeball is healthy and they don't have any other issues, we'll let them heal here, and uh, we we will send them back if we can't socialize them. Mm -hmm. We've done a couple that way, and they do they actually do amazingly well because the eye causes them a lot of pain. So once we remove it, then they're actually much much healthier and much happier. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming out. I won't shake your hand. I know. I won't. I won't <laughs> touch you. Here, and I'll take your booty. Uh, uh, get back there, or just take them off. Yeah, take them here, and then um, I'll just take them. In. There you go. Perfect. Excellent. Thanks so much. And you can go out the front if you'd like to, or. Perfect.